It is 6 a.m. on Labor Day. Not even Labor Day week. Like, it is literally Monday, Labor Day. I was laying in bed. I had woken up for whatever reason. I get on Twitter, and the first thing I see is a throwaway account tweeting a picture of Bonnie Ross getting the profit treatment by the Arbiter and the hashtag Fire343. And I really don't know who I'm making this video for or what this video is even really about other than my, I guess, overall disappointment in everything. Like, yeah, am I upset, disappointed, frustrated with some of the stuff that 343 has done? Like, do I wish Halo Infinite released as a whole game? Do I wish Halo was on top of the world? Obviously, like, yes. Do I also think that the community kind of makes it a living hell to work on the Halo franchise. Absolutely. I just hope people realize with the Fire 343 stuff what is actually going to happen. They have made it to where what, you know, developer or what person looking for potential employment in the video game industry is going to work on Halo. I think that's why a ton of people have left 343 in the first place is because they just it, it's it's too much and the thing is is i don't think i've met a developer that works on halo that doesn't love the franchise that doesn't want halo to be good i, I think that it's so weird that there are these like fanatics who are doing just as much damage to the brand and franchise that is halo that they're arguing 343 has done i would never i would never want to work on halo just because of how like, people are asking for, you know, new studios to take over Halo to make new Halo games. And if I was the head of those studios, I'd be like, no, absolutely not. I don't want anything to do with that. We've created this vacuum that Halo will never live up to any expectations that the community has. There are people who complain about Halo Infinite and 343 that haven't played a Halo game since like Halo Reach, but it's still so much a part of their personality or their online presence that they they literally can't stop. I don't know. It's just it's just really sad. I had taken this weekend off. I uploaded the montage. You know, I was super happy. I had watched the whole 343, you know, video and the roadmap stuff and to be fair, and to be honest, I wasn't really, like, blown away upset. But then I get on social media and YouTube on Sunday, and, you know, like, my sub box is just full of Fire 343, and the Halo is over party for, like, the 80th time at this point. And I just, I just don't know. A lot of you are probably gonna misinterpret this or, you know, say that I'm saying it's the community's fault, and, oh, Todd, you're a shill, and... You're the reason why Halo is the way it is. Mm, I don't know about that, but you're entitled to your opinion. I think overall, I'm just disappointed. I think that if they did take Halo away from 343, that we wouldn't see a Halo game for a decade, at least. They would probably just want the whole fan base to phase out and try to start over. But really, I don't. I honestly don't know if we would... <laughs> I feel like Halo would just kind of stop after that. Again, I think there have been huge missteps with the franchise. I think the show was this amazing opportunity, and it just fell flat on its face. I hope season two is better, but you just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't do content creation or YouTube or anything like that for my job, and I don't make my entire personality based around the video game, so maybe I just see it a little bit differently. But I think at this point, we can all agree that the franchise has had a lot of damage done to it in the past few years, and I don't know if it can honestly ever recover. I mean, we have huge game journalists and Forbes and stuff talking about the game, and it's in such a negative light that I, I, I just don't see anything good coming from it. Not to be all doom and gloom, but that's just how I feel at 6 a.m. on a Monday. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, if you did not enjoy, let me know in the comments down below. But if you enjoyed, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!